The Holistic Schools and Hospital Network, or HSH, is a joint program serving more than 47,000 cases of children who suffer from chronic diseases each year, with the aim of improving their health and providing adequate education using IT solutions. The initiative is maintained by the Ministry of Public Health, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Science and Technology, and other stakeholders, including NGOs and actors from the private sector in Thailand. Chronic illnesses in school-aged children, including cancers, diabetes, and congenital heart diseases, are a prevailing problem in all countries. In Thailand, over 36,000 cases are treated per year, which require long-term hospitalization, ranging from months to years. This can keep a child out of school and lead to poor education, poverty, and bad health. At first, many hospitals tried to solve this on their own. Some hospitals had better programs than others, but most of them did not meet educational requirements. This made it difficult for chronically ill children to resume their education after they left the hospitals, depriving them of their education and their future. Our initiative was founded in 1995, focusing on the collaboration and inclusion of all stakeholders from the start. It was designed during a strategy meeting, including the Queen Sirikit National Institute of Child Health, which had experience from caring for 10,000 cases of chronically ill children annually, the three ministries, young chronically ill patients, their families, and representatives from the private sector. The strategy was to transform the normal class in hospitals to computer-assisted classes using EDLTV and CAI programs, which we named Holistic Schools in Hospital, or HSH. The initiative uses digital video lessons that are aligned with primary, secondary, and vocational curricula that can be streamed to computers for on- or offline access anytime, anywhere. Today, HSH is available in 23 hospitals around Thailand. The percentage of children who resume their normal education from all of our network hospitals is now over 80% for the last three years. Applying technology in the classroom bridges social gaps and addresses other issues, like the standardization of the curriculum, making class fun and distributing knowledge to all, regardless of their age, gender, health, social status, religion, culture, and race. The main challenge is to connect remote areas nationwide. In the future, we hope that our model will inspire other ASEAN countries, which are struggling to provide their chronically ill children with proper education, social equality, and a bright future.